Hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, is a decades-old technology that unlocks oil and natural gas from deep shale formations. This technology is now often combined with horizontal drilling, another component of oil and natural gas development that has also been used for many years. Before fracking can begin, a well is drilled through multiple layers of rock. During this process, the well bore is cemented and cased to seal it off from shallow groundwater. While usable groundwater sources are typically located near the surface at a few hundred feet, these shale formations are thousands of feet beneath the surface, around the same depth as six Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other. Once the drill reaches the desired depth, it then turns laterally into the shale formation and extends another several thousand feet. This drilling process is highly regulated and ensures the protection of groundwater supplies and the safe development of underground energy resources. In fact, according to the Government Accountability Office, as with conventional oil and gas development, requirements from eight federal environmental and public health laws apply to unconventional oil and gas development. After the well has been drilled and the rig is removed from the well pad, fracking can begin. To start, a series of small charges are set off along a portion of the lateral part of the well bore, creating small fissures in the shale. Then, a fluid mixture is pumped down into the formation at pressure to open up additional cracks, or fractures, in the shale. These are thin, hairline fissures that are typically no longer than a few hundred feet. The fluid is more than 99% water and sand. Additional additives in the fluid, such as guar and surfactants, are added to the mixture to enhance viscosity and keep the well bore lubricated. You might be surprised to know that guar is also found in common products like ice cream, and the surfactants used are similar to dish soap. The sand in the fluid keeps the hairline fractures open, allowing oil and natural gas trapped inside these tight shale formations to flow into the well bore and to the surface. There, it is captured and transported to be refined and put to use in our everyday lives. Once the well is completed, production can continue for many years, even decades. A small amount of infrastructure will remain, but the rest of the well pad is restored. Over 90% of all wells in the United States use hydraulic fracturing. Without this technology, the enormous amounts of oil and clean burning natural gas currently being produced in the United States and the benefits this energy provides would remain trapped in these tight, impermeable shale formations. For more information, visit energyindepth.org.